Oh, look at that one. Yes. Oh, look at the size of the chicken. Get in my fuck. Get here we go. Look. Mmm. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Staffordshire. You all know what I'm talking about. Based review. Excuse me. Now this video is brought to you in association with Council, our online financial architect partners. They do everything to do with accountancy, online based. So if you are watching this now, click their Facebook page and send them a message and ask if they can help you with your business. Fully transparent, different packages, fully transparent. Means a lot. And from a business owner myself, getting your accounts on point is key. Give them a follow. Right, let's get on with today's video. Now, Hayden, shout out to you, mate. You sent us in some more gear. Not that type of gear, Wright's Pies. Legit gear. These stuff, this stuff. Again, apparently all of the places up north, around Staffordshire, stock Wright's Pies. Now, coming in closer, you see the absolute car crash job we've done cooking these, these ones over here. What happened, Jess? I'm gonna throw you under the bus. <laughs> they, um, in the oven a bit too long. In the oven a bit too long. <laughs> Guys, That tend, if you put, leave something in the oven a bit too long, and it starts to go black. But we're going to go anyway, and I'm going to be a bit more lenient with my score. So, have you done these in order, Jess? Yeah, so this is. I think they're right. I can't remember though. I don't even know. I think this is the meat and potato pie. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think them two are the wrong ones. Who knows? <laughs> All right, come in nice and close. What I want to do is I want to crack these open. Not like that. Don't know how you're supposed to eat these, look. Looks good. This one, this one has actually survived the cooking uh, car crash. These ones look like they've died again. Um, let's crack this one off. Here we go. Yeah, that is the meat and potato. Here we go, guys. What do you think of that? That is, that's that one, isn't it? Meat and potato. Yeah. Let's swap them around. OCD kicking off. Okay. So let's have a look. That's all right, it's meat and potato pie. First impression. Good portion in there, filled right to the top. Smells good. When I put a picture out of these the other day, someone messaged and said, uh, these are in between a pie meister, but much better than a pucker pie. I thought that was a nice analogy. Let's have a look at it then. First things first, it's okay. Could do with a little bit more seasoning, I think. A bit under, a bit bland. However, it's full of pie filling. And that alone, good texture. Mm. Not bad. Not uh, blowing my socks off. I'll be honest, that was the one I was most excited for as well. I'll just get some of the crust. You know what? That's a solid pie. What's this one? Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. First of the bun. Uh, <laughs> pasty. Chicken tikka, pasty. Look at the flaky crumbliness of the, uh, oh my God. Let's go. That's delicious. Really, really nice. Right. Are these big news in Staffordshire? Stoke, they, let me know guys. Never had these before, it's completely blind. These have been sent in by the way, by Hayden from Dark Horse Racing, not right. Rights have not sent us in, this is not a paid fucking video. They're not being gifted to us. There's a flakiest pastry I've ever had in my life. Chicken tikka. Very good. Right. 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 <laughs> my mouth's nice down, starting to get a little bit. 
It's only it's got to be that time, isn't it? Make sure there's nothing in your mouth. <laughs> what? Debris free. <laughs> yeah. Debris free. <laughs> Seven up cherry. The local shop does it again. Never had this before. Cherry flavored soda. Here we go. Guys, get in the comments. What's your favorite drink right now? You got any secrets, any little cans that you think, oh, this was an absolute genius. I realize it's cherries. <laughs> yeah, I am. Very nice. Very nice. Kind of weirdly refreshing. So Jess, what have we got here? Steak and kidney. Don't like kidney. <laughs> so I'll eat it anyway. Just try it. Just be the, professional. Pick the kidneys out. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, oh God. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what a kidney looks like. Oh, God, it's disgusting, Jess. <laughs> kidneys. Guys, get in the comments now. Do you think kidneys should be in a pie? It's not a good filling, though. Let's just go in there, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I can taste those kidneys already. <laughs> Do you know what? That's delicious. Really? It was good, yeah. <laughs> really nice. Look at that, look. We've got actual pieces of steak in there. Was that steak or... Here we go, look. Look at that. That's a decent piece of steak or kidney. <laughs> That's steak. That is steak. Yeah, delicious. Look. Decent amount of meat in these. Yeah, right. Definitely got that. Um, they're definitely well covering a, a, a puck of pie. But let's cut this one upside down so we get a better cut on it. Oh, look at that one. Yes. Oh, look at the size of the chicken. Get in my face. Here we go. Look. Mmm. We have a winner. Look at this. Creamy, delicious, big chunks of chicken, flaky pastry. Do you know what, Jess? That char on the top's added a bit of something, something. <laughs> I think we had it too hot, look. Still was perfectly cooked round here. Just too much. Too much. Take it on board, learn for next time. <laughs> look at that. Mm. We have a winner. Right, what do I think of Wright's pies? I've tried quite a few there. The meat and potato needed a bit more seasoning. The rest of them, really, really tasty. I think that might be like the staple one from back in the day, like the original recipe, whatever. Maybe I've just insulted the entire staff chip, but guys, that needs more seasoning. Very, very bland. But still, good flavour, good filling, good hardiness to it. Where do I put it in the market? Well, from what I've tasted so far, there's definitely a luxury end to the pie game. And these will probably just sit just under it. Are they not, they're definitely not luxury pies. However, a teacup, very nice. Steak and kidney, probably the best steak and kidney I've had to be fair. I don't like, we'll never order one, so I've never eaten one. So really, it's only the second or third one I've ever had. <laughs> but yeah, it's up there. Chicken mushroom, that is a good pie. Good filling, good flavour, good creaminess to it. Your pastry's on point. Is up there with the big hitters? No, it's not. But they know their place, I think. And they know that, excuse me, where they are in the market. Out of 10. I'm going to give right to score. Out of 10. Dragged up significantly by the chicken. I'm going to give it a 7. 7 out of 10. What? Yeah, really good. I think that's a 7, seven out of 10. It's a banging score for rights. Right. Take that score and run to the hills and celebrate about it. Have a party. Have a jamboree. Invite your mates over after lockdown. <laughs> The Seven Up Cherry is really repeating on me now, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> What's happened? I've been one sip. There's a chemical reaction going on in my stomach right now. I'm just going to add to it. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this review from Wrights. If there is a, any other regional food around the UK by brands, businesses, or your local shop that no one else knows about, get in the comments now. If you're from Staffordshire and like rights, give it a share. Ladies and gentlemen, and that is a review.